Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about Kays fans. Not the most interesting subject in the world, but it is something that's quite important for your computer. Now, the ones that I've opted for for my PC, the main ones I'll be using are these or this. I've only got one so far. This is the, the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3. It's a 140mm fan and there's two versions, the regular version the high speed version. I've got the high speed version. It goes up to 1600 RPM and it's got PWM which is pulse width modulation. If I jump over to my browser just now, this is the one I've opted for. As I said, there's a normal version. I think that one goes to 1000 RPM and it's much quieter because of that. Very, very quiet. But the one that I've got here goes a little bit faster and because of that it's a little bit louder as well as you would expect. Looks like a good fan. As I said, uh, it's PWM pulse width modulation and essentially what that means is if in your motherboard you see it and it's got four pins, it means that you've got support for pulse width modulation. Um, my motherboard has several uh, uh, four pin connectors for fans. So I thought I'd opt for the PWM because it does give you a little bit more control over it. Um, you can see this is what the fourth one's there for. And now you can you can put in th a three pin fans into four pin um, slots and vice versa. But apparently this does help you regulate things a little bit better uh, as far as controlling the airflow in your, your computer and all that. Apparently it's not something I've really uh, messed around with. I've not toyed around with it yet. Now, buying fans, it does seem to be a little bit about compromise as far as getting the right setup. There's a lot of things to consider. Um, and again, this isn't the most interesting subject in the world, but if you get it wrong, it can really hurt your computer. It can damage components. Ideally, what you want is cool air inside there. Warm air can... Um, damage your components, it can shorten the life uh, lifespan of components uh, and also if you're overclocking or even if you've just got normal load if it's not cold enough in there you can cause problems with, with your PC, your PC might shut off early and things like that so you need to have your computer cool with the fans there's a lot of electronics loading and that's why you need fans in there now getting the right you know, airflow and all that, there's a lot of different things to consider First one being your case, you know, your case is a big factor of it, how much airflow gets into your case and all that, whether you're using radiators or regular fans, whether you've got, you're using 120mm fans or 140mm fans and all this. Um, as far as airflow goes, this is probably what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to have two 140mm fans at the front, that's going to be drawing in cold air, and I'm going to have uh, cold air coming in here with a 120 fan and I'm going to be exhausting warm air here at the top and at the back. Now there's a fan in the PSU as well that's not shown there. Now as I said there's a lot of things to consider. Um, I don't want to go into this in too much detail but you will see many fans being sold, uh, you know I think Corsair do it where they call certain ones AF for airflow or SP for, st uh, for static pressure. This is a basic explanation of it where airflow fans are designed to, you know, bring in as much air as possible. Static pressure ones are designed for things in the way. They're optimised. But, you know, there's a lot of tests online eh, on, on YouTube and all these other articles, etc. And sometimes there's not a huge amount of difference for it. And, you know, and, and for someone who's looking at buying the best eh, PC case fan, the best setup, you can actually go a little bit crazy. You can honestly go crazy looking at all these eh, tests and things because you find something, you go, okay, my mind is set, I'm going to buy that. And then you find another video or another review or another test that disproves what the other person proved. There's a lot of uh, static pressure fans that provide better airflow than airflow fans. No case fan, you know, they're all, uh, they're not designed equally. Now, there's a lot of comparison tests out there. This is one of the best ones that I've been referring to a lot. Um, I'll link to this in, in the description area. They reviewed 71 case fans of 140mm uh, fans. Now it's a year and a half old this one, but it does have a lot of uh, interesting information. It does illustrate my point as well. Um, they've, they've divided it into different sections. They've got the best cooling fans, they've got the quietest fans, and then they've got the most efficient case fans where they tested it at 30 decibels, which is what they consider before it gets too noisy, 
and they showed you what um, provided the most airflow or uh, QFM, I think they call it cubic feet per meter or so. You know, I'm getting that wrong, but um, yeah, there it's there, CFM. Um, so it's quite interesting because the best cooling fans here, I'll, I did look at some of the Noxia ones. These industrial ones, the 3000, can, you know, draw in a huge amount of cool air into your PC. If you're overclocking, if you're, you know, even if you've just got a very powerful computer, that's going to be fantastic. But, you know, some of these ones here are very, very noisy. Well, it depends. This is the thing. These fans, if they run at low speed, um, and, and they do have a lot of variation, like, for example, you could get some of the high speed ones might only run from, say, 600 RPM to 2000 or 3000. Um, some of the quieter ones, the ones that are designed for quiet PCs can run from as low as, you know, 200 up to 1000. When these ones, uh, the loud ones are running at full speed, they are incredibly loud. But sometimes that isn't a problem. You know, if, if you're cooling a server or if you're just cooling a PC that you've put in another room or it's under your desk at the other side of the room, maybe noise isn't an issue. And this is where these ones come in where you've got the, the high airflow. Now, I looked at the the silent ones as well, and there's a lot of silent ones here. Now, the interesting thing about this, um, these ones, are, you know, all the, the marks here are uh, about decibels, but you can see that the airflow, 16.1 CFM, and, and, and the page before the top one was getting like 89, the Noxia one was getting 89, but it's a difference between having a fan running at 3000 RPM it's incredibly loud and a fan like this fractal design which is actually what i've got in my uh, well it's two 120 fractal design a uh, xp gp12s and they're running and you know they're not provide they're provi providing a lot of airflow for the noise they're making but maybe not ideal in a lot of situation um a lot of situations talking very stupidly today i don't know why i keep misspeaking um, okay, so in this page here, they've got the most efficient case fans. As I said, they're, they're all tested at 30 decibels. And the Noxia, again, at the top, the noise blocker. Here's the other thing as well. See if you're wanting these ones that, are, you know, provide a lot of airflow um, for 30 decibels, or th this is the limit they've picked. You, you're going to have to spend more money. And, and PC case fans can go from as low as, say, £5, $5, all the way up to, like, 30 per fan. Uh, and you can spend a lot of money, um, you know, buying four fans, you could be spending over a hundred bucks. It's a lot of money to spend. Now, the ones that I bought, kind of in the middle, um, kind of in the middle. Uh, one of the things that I, I you know, I, I, I kind of flip-flopped on this many, many times. I changed my mind on what fans I was ordering many times. Um, and I opted for these ones. Now, even when buying these ones, there's the Silent Wings, the normal version, it goes up to, I think it's 1000 RPM, and then you've got the high speed ones. Basically, what I'm hoping for uh, with these ones is to run them at quite a low RPM, you know, like 600, 700, you know, something that's very quiet. But having the, the higher RPM limit means that in a situation where I do need higher performance, I can push my computer quite um, quite hard and the fans will produce noise now that that's kind of optimal for me because in general when i'm like for example right now recording a video um i want quietness i want quietness i don't want a lot of noise coming from the fans because i noticed with my laptop the last time background noise the hissing was sometimes getting picked up on this microphone too even though this is a dynamic microphone that's designed to not pick up noise like that it will pick up a uh, you know a lot of background noise sometimes if there's a lot of uh, hissing and noise like that and it, it's a balancing act you know um i wanted to make quietness a priority but i also know that you know when i'm encoding a video or if i'm playing a game and i've got headphones on well i want to be able to cool my components my cpu especially cool my case and have the option of providing a lot of power um you know having a lot of power and by doing that you need you need to cool the components which means that you need to run the fans at higher speeds to draw in more air so it's a balancing act i'm, I'm hoping I've, I've picked the right thing here um 
you know, when and for every fan, there's there's pros and cons. This this is the thing. When this runs at high speed, it will no longer be silent. But I was hoping that when this is you know running at normal, um, well that's that's it. When it's running normally, when it's running kind of at a slow RPM, I'm hoping it's very quiet. When it's uh, running at high speed, it will be probably you know a lot louder. But hopefully, I only need to do that when I'm running a very powerful game or when I'm encoding a video. So more rarely, I think generally speaking for me anyway, um, silence was you know quite high in my priorities. The thing is, guys, as you've seen there, as a minefield, um, I honestly spent more time looking at case fans than I did at motherboards. I'm not even joking. There's so many factors to consider. You need to take your case into consideration. You need to take what you're doing with your computer into consideration as well. Are you gaming? Are you overclocking your CPU? Um, things like that. Um, what whereabouts is your PC? Are you in a loud environment? Well, if you're in a loud environment, louder fans might not be an issue. But if, like me, you need silence, if you're writing a lot, if you're doing something where you don't need noise, then you want to be um, going for something quieter. Now, you'll see a lot of fan uh, case fans and the brandy, the brandy does noise blocking, silence and be quiet and all this. Um, they're all branded as if they're the quietest on the market. But the tests sometimes show you that even the quiet ones can get quite noisy when you push them hard. So it's a balancing act. The fact is, you know, even with a quiet fan, if you run at a higher speed, it's going to cause more, more noise. It will produce more airflow and it will cool your case, your computer, it will cool it more. But it's that fine act where you're trying to get the right balance between silence and, you know, providing cool air for your computer. So, yeah, this is what I've been looking at um, over the last couple of days. It's a very boring subject, but I thought I would touch upon it in this video. I'd love to hear what fans you guys are uh, using in your case. Um, you can see that I've opted for um, basically black ones. I've, I've got two black ones in there already. You can get ones with flashing LEDs and things like that, but I've got a kind of elegant style case. I've got a lot of flashing lights on the inside, but I thought, you know, simple black fans would do me. Um, so let me know what you guys are running. When I get all of these, I've got two coming tomorrow. I've had to order another one from another company. I opted for the, the week delivery for free because some of them were charging £20 for the fan and like £8 for delivery to get it in three or four days over Christmas. I'm like, no, I'll just wait. When I get the four fans in, what I'm going to do is put them in my computer. I'll do some tests. I'll run thermal tests. I'll do some uh, audio tests as well to show you the difference at running at different speeds, which will illustrate the points I'm trying to make across, uh, put across in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do share what setup you've got uh, for fans below, what kind of uh, cooling setup you've got below. I think it'd be interesting to discuss this, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.